Hello fellow scratchers, welcome to this tutorial on how to make a platformer. We're gonna start by making our player sprite so we can start coding. First, make a new sprite. I recommend drawing it, unless you're doing a scratch theme platformer. So I'm gonna start with drawing a simple circle. You guys can add on lots to your player, like outline, shadows, eyes. Make them creative, don't do a generic cube, but in this tutorial I'm just gonna do something quick and easy. We can now get into coding. So first, we're gonna start by making it show when we play. So green foot click, show. Go to front layer, this is because if we had a background, we want it to show up first. And that's good. Now we're gonna work on moving our player. So we're gonna go into the green foot click sprite. Now let's gonna, we're gonna make a variable. We're gonna name it xvel the X position, and Y bell. Now we're going to set it to zero once we start the game. Like that. Now we're going to make our player move. So go into the forever block, then change X by X bell, and then go into if, key right arrow pressed, change X bell by one, and then if key left arrow pressed, then change X bell by minus one. Then we're gonna set X bell to X, and then like this, and then type in 0 0.9. Tab. Let's test it, it looks nice. Now let's get into making sure that our player can jump. So now we can make our ground sprite. So I'm going to make a new sprite. I'm going to do grass. So let's get a brown for the bottom. Look at that. Draw the platform. Now I'm going to get a green. I'm going to get multiple shades of green to make it look a little bit more fancy. So just copy that. Make it a little bit darker as it goes down. And to the ground, you can add grass on top and like shadow and stuff. I'm not going to do that much for mine. There, that's my ground sprite. Now we're just going to make our ground show. So on green flag click, show. Go to front layer, and then switch costume to one. Now we're going to code slopes. So first we got to name our level. level. Now we're going to go into the if. And we're going to make sure that if our player is touching the level, then we'll change the y by one. We're going to do this eight times to make sure that it works. So we're going to duplicate that again. I'll put put it all inside the if and duplicate it another time. Make sure that they're all inside of each other actually. And then do it again. Eight times. Now we're going to change our X underneath here. Our X well. And then we're going to do minus 0 0.2. Now we're going to do if up arrow key pressed. So go into if then else. Then do up arrow key pressed. Then get another if else block and put it right up there. Now we're going to fill it in. Over here, we're going to put if our x, x vel is greater than zero, then we're going to set x vel to minus five underneath here. 
And then right underneath that, we're going to set X bell to 5. Underneath here, we're going to set Y bell to 13. Then we're just going to set X bell to 0. Underneath all these blocks, we're going to set y vel to minus 0 0.8. Then we're going to change y by y vel. Now code if touching level, then we're going to change y by, and then get this. And then y bell divided by minus 1. There, now our player is doing good. Then just set y bell to 0. Now we just got to change our y by minus 1. If touching level... And key up arrow key pressed. Then set y vel to 12. In our code, I realized it wasn't jumping. So instead of this set y vel to minus 0 0.8, we need to change y vel to minus 0 0.8. Now we can test it. And our player finally jumps. In our next episode, we will be working on making wall jump and making it go to the next level. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and follow my Scratch account. Thanks for watching. I'm Chewing Fruit Gum. Bye.